Welcome to Cocktail Hour at the Coop. I am Liz from Arrow Acres. This is my sister Leanne. We are at our parents' alpaca farm, Arrow Acres Farm in Wall, New Jersey. Um, I wanted to, real quick, say if you guys want to follow us on Instagram, I have it all at the end, but I don't know if you all make it to the end and if you look in the description. So you can follow Leanne at Cocktail Hour at the Coop. Yep. And you can follow me at Arrow Acres Farm Yarn. Okay. That's over with. Good. So thank you guys for watching all the previous episodes. We've had some bingers lately, and we love your comments. Um, but we wanted to quickly talk about Maryland Sheep and Wool Festival. Yes, it's coming up in two weeks. And we went back to look at our podcast from last year, and it was only our second episode. And we realized, well, not that we're not still not a hot mess, because we still really are a hot mess. But we were really a mess. And so we thought we'd give our tips and tricks once again for Maryland, since it's going to be here in two weeks. So, um, if you've never been or you've been before, maybe you'll learn something new. And um, and if you have any tips for people, put it in the comments. Yes. So, let's help guide the people. <laughs> All right. So, we start out on Friday down at Needles Up. Needles Up, for those of you that don't know, it's kind of a, what is it, like a pop-up? It's an indie kind of... Pop up viewer, like there's yeah. a couple of vendors, so it's starting. and they're not at the festival. They yep. only do this. Yep. So, uh, Legacy Fiber Arts puts it on. They sponsor it, and they will be there with their yarn as well as uh, Fat Squirrel. Amy Beth will be there with her bags. Classy Squid Fibers. She has really pretty fi um, roving and, and bats. Right. And I think she she may have the, she has cool spindles. She may have them. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Tuft Woolens is going to be there, which I'm very excited because my little mine like today. oil roller is almost out that I got last year. She has all those soaps and everything. And they do like nice wool wash soaps, yeah. right? For your yeah. knitted and crocheted yes. garments. They also have for bo your body too. Uh, Fiber Nymph Dye Works will be there. Doghouse Pottery. What well, that's nice because I don't think she was at Maryland last year. She was at Rhinebeck she was this at Rhinebeck. year. And um, the phone Bloody. ringing. Oh, and you need to answer that. Okie dokie. Um, and our friend Paige from Freeman Fiber will be there with her knitty mats. So if you are interested in going to Needles Up, it is at the Meeting House at 5885 Robert <laughs> Oliver Place. Get your pen and your paper, people. In Columbia, Maryland. And there is the VIP. So if you're a VIP, you already know about this at 12 o'clock, which the tickets you had to buy in advance. But general admission is free. From one to six. So Liz and I will be there probably around one o'clock, yep. we're hoping. And so hopefully we get to see some of you and come say hi. And it's always a fun, it's just fun. You yeah, get to see really the people. It's very casual, really nice, um, nice place. And if you haven't been down in that area, it's really pretty. It should be nice weather, I hope. And it's usually warm. And Everyone do your no rain dance. The leaves are all out, and it's really nice. And there's like a little place to get food around there. So anyway, that's Needles Up. So we'll be there Friday, May 3rd. All right, and then, so we'll go to the Sheep and Wool Festival. All right, so if you're going to go... You can buy tickets in advance online it's or sheepandwool.org. Yep. Is the website and it's right there on the first page, I think, to buy your ticket. Yeah, so it's, it's $5. $5. You can buy it online or you can pay cash when you get there. Last year, uh, the online people, there was only like one scanner person, so it that was, was quite us. a long line. We had to wait in a longer line because we bought them ahead of time. Yeah. Because the ha there was only one scanner and it wasn't working well or the other ones weren't working. But I think later in the day it was fine. I don't know, because I was cash and I got right yeah. in. Yeah, and Mom uh, and I had to wait. But they mm -hmm. may have had complaints, and so they may, have they may get more scanners. So, you know, if you want, rather do it online, I'm sure, hopefully they fixed it. I think it was just a quick technical issue. Yeah, so there's that. Mm -hmm. um, it's $5 mm -hmm. to get in. And then, so we were talking about, we have our favorite places, but if you need, if you want to get somewhere, there are a couple booths that do sell out pretty quickly. Yeah. So you might want to just, like, get in and go. Yeah, otherwise you can just walk in and start Browsing. Yep. Yep. So but we usually, so we like to just browse, but we occasionally have something that we want and we head to that booth first. Yeah. So, um, and there are some booths that you really have to Yeah. Go so to. we were trying to think which ones. And Jenny the Potter, for sure, she sells out pretty quickly. She brings a lot, but it goes fast. And is she right when you walk in, you go left and she's right? No, that's she's a different in the big potter. Barn. Oh, she's in the big barn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a different potter who's right there by the entrance. 
Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's in the big main exhibition hall, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. It's the big barn, we call it. Uh, Matterroot, they also kind of sell out pretty quick too. Yeah. They are, um, when you walk through the gates and you come up, up, they're right up the top of the hill. <laughs> I think to the it's left out, a little bit. Yeah, I think it's like outside vendors or outside north vendors, but they're. <laughs> All right. Oh, excellent. Bobby! Totally forgot. Peanut Gallery forgot. <laughs> we are recording. Anyway, okay, so we said Matterroot. Yeah, they have really nice bags and shirts and things. Yeah. So their bags go fast. So I would get there first. In fact, that's on my list this year. Um, and then Miss Babs. So everybody thinks like I have to get to Miss Babs and I have to get all this stuff. And I love Miss Babs. She's great and her stuff is great and her lines are crazy long and they are great at getting you through the line. However, if you go later in the day, they restock everything and you can get everything you could have gotten in the morning. And if so, you see something and you need it, you ask them and yeah, they are happy to help. They have a whole bunch outside because the next morning they restock. And I know there's a Maryland colorway. They always do a colorway for the event. And they restock the next morning as well. So they have it. So if you don't want to wait in line. Um, our, look how different our color is today. I don't have any makeup on. Well, you look a lot and nicer I'm all ready. I do. I do? Mm. Very ready. All right. I always think of Carrie when we're doing this. Carrie, are you proud of us? Look at, we have like notes. We're going in order. Right now. We're, we're trying yes. to actually help the people instead yes. of just being like, <laughs> How are we doing? Oh, we were doing one. Then we just got off track. Okay. So then <laughs> our favorite. So we did it a little bit by section now. So once we go in, we, we hit the booth that we want to go to if there's something specific that we want that we think might sell out. Um, I like to go to Stephen Willett first thing. He's in the main exhibition hall because if I want a specific crochet hook size, I'd like to get there early when he has a lot. Um, but then we always start in the lower corral. Yep. So this year, uh, Toad Hollow, the girls from Toad Yay! Hollow, the Crafty Toads they will are going to be there and they're going to be in the lower corral. So we'll see them down there. And then I love Feederbrook and Schweitzer's and they're both down there. And I just read that Tess is down there. Yep. So um, Tess is right next to Toad Hollow. So it should be nice down there. Hopefully mm -hmm. it's not muddy. Yeah. Cross our fingers. I like the lower corral. And there's some really nice things down there. Yeah, there's nice booths down there. Yeah. Marigold the button Jen. lady used to be down there, but she wasn't button there lady wasn't there time. last year. I really like the button lady. Yeah, Marigold Jen and yeah. Hobbledy Hoy, uh, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah, mother and daughter. They have a nice booth. So we start down there, and then we work our way back up. Um, it seems to be less crowded because people come in and they start at the top. Mm -hmm. So we go down and work our way backwards. And then we go in the big barn, um, which is the main exhibition hall. And that's where Stephen Willett is. That's who I like to buy my hooks from. And then for you spinners, some nice um, fiber places are into the world. They're in there. Uh, the Little Barn is way in the back by Miss Babs in the back left corner. And they have great stuff if you want to dye your own, but they also have pre-dyed stuff. Oh, I know which one that is you know? now. Yeah. And, and the prices are really, really, really good. So um, I know sometimes I buy stuff to blend with our alpaca and things like that. So... That's a nice one. And then who else is there? Oh, Echo View. So I discovered them last year, Echo View Fiber Mill. And they were they right had, in on the right, I think. Yeah, they had some really nice yarn. They had that recycled sweater yarn, right? Mm -hmm. They took bits of, they're going to have that again. They have pre-made stuff, which is really nice. You got a scarf, right, Mom? That indigo scarf. Mm -hmm. I got a we both got cotton woven, woven scarf, and I love it. Yeah, me too. So they're going to be there. I'm excited <clears> to see <throat> them again. <clears throat> I had never met them before. Was that their first year last year? And now I follow them on Instagram and I know. They're pretty cool. Me too. Uh, Backyard Fiberworks. I like their yarn a lot. They're really nice. And, oh wool. Oh wool's in there. And oh wool's in there. You gotta go see oh, Mr. and Mrs. Oh wool. Can't beat it. So they're in there. Um so those are some of our favorites in the barn. Yeah. And then we wander. And then <laughs> we just go in the little barns and we just go up. I spell wonder. It's wander. We wander. We wander. Yeah, and at that point we're like, okay, we good? You got what you needed? And then, like, let's go. So, then one other thing that we like to suggest is have projects picked out or have an idea of yardage. So, wait, like, there's oh, more. Don't skip oh, ahead. That's on the sorry. back page. Because, look, we still have to talk about that stuff. Forgot. <laughs> Hold on. 
But at this point... Erase that. Forget you heard that. <laughs> at this point, we all kind of meet back up, right? It's like, all right, you're it's going there, there. And, and we, have we, our, we have our gyros yeah. on the hill. Yeah. So we like the gyros. They're the best. There's lots of good food. You can't go wrong. We eat on the hill. Um, and then up the other favorite vendors, outside North Vendor is my favorite is Green Mountain Spinnery. I always go see them and get some stuff. I say hi to Kate, my sweater buddy. Who was, what was the booth that was down, like right when you walked in on the left, that you got your yarn last year? Mom called you and we were <gasps> I like. I loved it there. Oh. What, what was that booth called? Uh, I don't know, but they're also at Rhinebeck. They have like the Hudson Valley yarns. Yeah. Yes, so the you green walk, yarn. So you walk in Whoa. the entrance and I make your first left them. and they're right on your right. Mm. They had really nice sheepy wool. But nice no. and awesome colors. Not like yeah, the, yeah, no. They're at Rhinebeck too. They're the Hudson Valley people, right? No, no wasn't it? It's a mill. mill yeah, what's the, the mill? mill? It's the uh, you know what it is, but yeah, right, they're well, nice. We're not sure of the name. Sorry. Maybe we can find I'll it and you can your link it. Thing. I'll, I'll yeah, we'll it find out. it. Yes, they were. They if had we can figure really it out before nice I edit, stuff. I'll put it in the description. Yeah, and at Rhinebeck, <clears throat> if you know what we're talking about. If you go in the aisle with Jenny the Potter and go all the way to the end to the left, they're usually down at the left at Rhinebeck. So it's the same booth. I like them a lot. Okay, yeah, good thinking. Yep. Um, also up up there is the auction. If you're into the auction, you can see I'll online. Be, ooh, it's do you know cool. what time it is? Did you look at the time? Nope, I didn't. So that's on there too. I want to look at what time it and is. And the broom guy's there. You got to go see the broom yep, guy. the broom guy. He makes his Hi. brooms. Do you have a broom? I don't have a broom. <gasps> I, I wonder if brooms. I need a broom this year. Yeah, I have an indoor broom. But get at the end of the day so you don't have to walk around with it all day. Yes. Yeah, the broom guy's there. <clears throat> I like him a lot. There's all, there's a lot of nice things up there. Like, there's tons of good stuff. Yeah. We're just picking out our very some favorites. Of our fa these are just some of our yeah. favorites that we like to stop at. Yeah. Um, and then outside East Vendors, so once you're like, there's the upper upper vendors and there's like little rows on the grass. Right when you walk in, it's on the right. By the porta potties yeah. and start going in those rows. Yeah, they're nice too. So my that's where Briar, Briar Rose, Rose is. is there. That's my favorite in that whole area there. But yeah, there's lots too. of nice stuff in there. there you also find a nice like handmade baskets in there and pottery. That's where you got my soap dispenser. Yes. Yeah. So you yeah. can get and there's like I remember there's like plants. things made. You can buy plants. yes. You buy yeah herbs there. and plants and vegetables and things. That's all up that way. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still coughing. Oh, so is peanut gallery. Four weeks. This is like going on week five. Okay. So besides buying yarn, but we can talk about that now. Yeah. So when you're walking around at Maryland, I I don't know. Are you uh, just a buy yarn so person? So I used to be just a buy yarn person. I kind of still am because I, I know what I make and I know the yardage that most things take. So I don't make sweaters. But like, what well, up? Can I show it? Go ahead. All right. I finished around. my poncho! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You can stand up. Woo! It looks so pretty. I finished my poncho. I finished my poncho. You can really see the arrows at the bottom through. You can? Yeah. yeah man. See? I ponchoed! It's my Rhinebeck poncho. I'm just testing it out. It's a little too warm to have it on right now. Looks very nice. But I don't make big things like this, so I don't need to know big yardage and yeah. specific projects. I make hats and I make scarves, and I don't need more than 450 yards for anything that I make. So I'm the opposite. I make big stuff. So I suggest going and being prepared. Like, pick your projects that you might want to knit or, or no crochet. Even, you, yeah, and you don't even have to have a specific pattern, but look at patterns and look at how much yardage they yes. take. Yes. So you have an idea. Yeah. And what service may not be great for your cell phone when you're there. So if you put it in your notes or take screenshots and put it in your phone, that way you're not standing in the booth like there's all these people and you're like, oh, crap. When's, I can't get my I can't get Ravelry. I can't find it. And then you like sometimes people are nice and they have service, so they'll look for you. But I tend but don't to, depend on good service at no, festivals. No, once you get in those booths, when it's crowded, you gotta get it done. So I'm con confused this year. Mm. You always buy your Rhinebeck sweater yarn. Always buy my Rhinebeck sweater yarn at Maryland. And I already made my Rhinebeck sweater. And I'm making my second one right now, which I'm working on right now. I love yes. it. Isn't it pretty? I love it so much. I and love I love that it. you're doing the stripes. Because you I said am. you weren't going to do the stripes, and I Rick love the stripes. I voted. I said to my husband, okay, 
Stripes or no stripes, he said. Stripes. stripes. So I have to order more yarn, but um, anyway, so I'm making my two Rhinebeck sweaters now. I've never done that before. So I don't know what to, I don't know what to make. I don't know what yarn, and I do not do well with just buying yarn that I like and then figuring out the project. That That's all I confuses do. me. So I need to come up with an idea. So if you have ideas, let me know. I put on Instagram the other day. I need help. Help. And then if you are done with your shopping or you need you a little break. Make another thing, the thing you shrunk in the wash. Oh, leaves oh, of grass. Oh, I could get that at Green Mountain Spinnery. <gasps> Good thinking. All right, Good job, Kate, coming for you. What was that? What was that? Leaves called? of grass. Leaves of grass by yeah by Jared, Jared Flood. I shrunk it, which I still have. I should show that on the podcast yeah. today. I that's perfect, Mom. So I'm make a new one. I was saying, if you need a break, or <laughs> if you are looking for something else to do, or if you have family with you who is over <laughs> all the yarn stuff. The sheepdog demo. Ever be over all the yarn well, the stuff. little kids and the husbands sometimes don't like it as much as us. <laughs> so the sheepdog demos are so yeah. fun. Uh, it's down by the lower corral. It's on the left. It's really fun. Get there a little bit early so you can get a seat or up right at the rails because people will stand in front of you. Um, there are sheer. So where we like to sit for lunch is on the hill next to the big main exhibition hall. And there's a stage down there. They do sheep shearing demonstrations. And then up in the sheep barns, you'll go through all the sheep barns and see all the sheep. They have sheep shows. So they actually have the shows going on. They have bleachers there. Everybody's welcome to watch. You can get your lunch. You can eat and watch the mm -hmm. sheep. That's fun. We, we watched the Jacob year. sheep last we year. We did. Yep, that was fun. So you can do that too. Mm -hmm. Or at 1.30, you can come see us. I hope and, we fix that as our little yeah, screenshot. And your favorite podcasters. <laughs> so at 1.30, outside the 4-H building. So that, which, if you go in the main entrance and you just walk up the little hill, we're going to be up on the left. Yes. So at 1.30, podcasters, we're going to meet there. Spread the word. Because this was not really a festival uh, sanctioned thing. Event. So it's not on their calendar of events, but I spoke to someone from the festival and we were talking about it because last year they had it, but it was kind of like all day, which is weird because you don't know when people are going to be there. Yeah. And I talked to her and I said, would it be okay if we kind of set one up? And she said, absolutely go for it. I asked her, I made sure the place was okay. She said, yes. So one thirty, four H building outside, meet your Yay. favorite podcasters and come say hi and come say hi to us. We'll have buttons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, please say hi to us. We like meeting yep. you. Marion will be there from, uh, the Chelsea Pearls. Christina will not. She'll be at the Knot yeah. House. Yeah. Um, but Miriam should be there, and uh, Amy Beth is going to be there. Oh, hopefully. we could talk. Should we talk about the Knot House a little bit? I mean, sure. we've never been. So the Knot yeah. House is the local yarn shop. To I think they're in Frederick. Yep. Which, which isn't is, far. I, it, I think it's like forty minutes west. Forty? I think it's farther than we think. Half hour. Really? 40? I may be totally wrong. Someone's yelling at me now. Is that that far away? I don't know. We'll have to Google it. Yeah. So they're Hold in on, Frederick. I'm Google it. All right. So they're in Frederick, and they're like the they're not. They have pop ups in their shop all weekend long too. So take a like Christina's where is gonna West be there. Where is we're in Maryland. West Friendship, and they're in Frederick. West Friendship. Friend till the end. How do you spell friendship? I knew how to how spell How do friendship. you spell friendship? Like principal and friend to the end. <laughs> friend to the end. <laughs> That's hey. your tip. Friend to the end. Yeah. Yes, I know. End is at the end. <laughs> I know. I know and how to spell friend. It's a pal. <laughs> <laughs> so. Two hours and 52 minutes from here. How do I add right? a. Nope. Yeah, no, I know, but I know, but how do I say directions and then add a location? No, my, not my location. Now say oh. Frederick, Maryland. I'll put not house. It's closing soon, not house. <laughs> <laughs> so, back to what I was saying. They have pop ups going on. Twenty seven minutes. Okay, so there you go. Not far, and that's not direct. We didn't. We just said West Friendship. We didn't say the fairgrounds or anything. So right, right. So about that. Hour. Um, and they have pop-ups going on. So Christina from Chelsea Yarns will be there with her hand-dyed yarn. Um, and a look at bunch. their website. So they have a whole bunch of people, like a lot. So anyway. and they have stuff going on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yes. So Christina will be there. Um, but anyway, hopefully our podcasters will all meet up and be there. Yay. Okay. 
Is Amy Beth going to come? She thinks so. She should. It sounds like she's going to be there. I hope so. Unless she like peters out. But 1.30 is early. Yeah, it's early. You can stick, come on, it, guys. stick it out, Amy Beth. All right. So let's see. What else? So this is for next year because it's too late for the hotels now. <laughs> oh, I guess you could still call. There might be cancellations. True. Um, we used to stay in Columbia, Maryland, and there are lots of really nice hotels. Um, look at... Are they on? Are they on listed on the website? Okay, so Turf Valley is where we stay. They have a special code price for sheep people, which was so cool because I booked this. I booked Maryland as soon as we get home from Rhinebeck in October. The next day, because I'm like, oh, festivals. I'm still on a high from Rhinebeck. I book Maryland. They don't have their code up yet for the sheep people, right? Because it's like ridiculously early. So then what I do is I book it and then I'll call like March or, I don't know, February. And I just say like, can you change my price to the sheep people when I called this year for them? They're like, oh, we already did it for you. <laughs> you know I mean? You're in the system. I'm in the system. They adjusted it already. Like, oh, no, we already You're took on care. the sheepy list. We already took care of that. And I love when they're like, what are you here for? Remember the year? So there was a year that we stayed at a hotel. And we got there, and they're like, you know the knitters and the sheep people. Like, you know them. You can see it them. It was the year that Andy had to climb through the back of the minivan. That was a great year. That was a good it was year. so good. I wish we had our phones and cameras and selfie sticks. Did we not have that? No, no we because probably had, we, like, the little flip phones. There was no camera. We would have totally. We would have recorded that her. on Instagram Live. Good thing there wasn't then. Oh, I but wish. It was us and then a whole bunch of men with like band t shirts and long hair that were in their like 40s. <laughs> like my hair, right? 50s, now. <laughs> and we're like, so we check in and the guy's so nice. He goes, Now we know you're here for the Fiber Festival and we know you'll be getting up very early in the morning, but we have another group of people that are here for the 80s band, hair band, hair band reunion. <laughs> So they'll be coming in late and sleeping in. So we just ask everyone to respect each other. <laughs> that was great. That was so much fun. That was fun. That but, was by the um, Black Dog Pub? Yeah, no, not the no, Black Dog. That's no. in. That's up in the dog Martha's Vineyard. Vineyard. Yeah, dog The Dog Pub, pub or something? The Dog Pub. Check but, that out um, if you like beer and pizza. Yeah. That's all they have. Yeah, so we're in Turf Valley in Ellicott City, which they have the, they're the official hotel, I believe, that gives the price. But I think other ones, other ones do, too, too, right? Yep. So check yep. the website and see which. Yeah, Turf Valley be. also gives classes now on Friday, Thursday oh, and Friday. Oh, that's right. Think. So um, some people may be taking classes there. And then Columbia has a lot of nice hotels. The whole area is really, really nice. We um, love the restaurant Clyde's that's yeah. in Columbia. And there's a bunch of hotels right there that you can walk to. So look up Clyde's and then like do a little Google search yeah. and see what's right there. There's a there's like a lake right there. It's yeah. very pretty. Really nice. Everywhere down there. Nice area. Really, really pretty. So that's where we stay and we've stayed at different places throughout the years, but Turf Valley we've been in. Yeah, that's our favorite past, now. Like so Four years? fourth year? Yeah. yeah. All right, so, oh, that's, that's it. That's it. Look at us. We, like, did the list. We followed what we were supposed to do. Yeah. So, hopefully we'll see you guys in Maryland. If not, try to come next year or, I don't know. It's fun. It's a really nice festival. It is. The weather's usually nice. Not no, going wood. Mm. I think we'll be all right. I hope so. If it rains, wear your boots. If it rains the day It before. was raining today. Yeah, I got my was. boots on. Yes. All right. Okay. That it? That's it. That's it. Yeah, that's we it. We are so behaved. Yeah. <laughs> well, because we got yelled at for our Rhinebeck one. Carries. That we didn't have enough details. So, those are our details. Go on Maryland, or no, no, sheepandwool.org. Look at the vendor list. You can click. Did the, does it go to their website? Yes. So you can click, go see what they have. Do your research. This yeah. is just who we like and what we like to see. And there's so. lots and lots. There's something for everyone. There is. There is. And my dad's gone with us and he's had a good time. And so it, this is, it's a very family friendly event. Okay. Can I say one little thing? Okay. <clears throat> when you're driving, there's a long line of cars and there's very pretty Mom farms said, you pass. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's a house, a little blue house. Right when you're going in, like the main entrance. It's not little, it's big. But it's way out on the field. Mm -hmm. And I think it would be the perfect cover for a scary murder mystery movie. <laughs> That's it. So you'll think of it when you see the blue house, be like, oh yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do I say? It's a doctor with someone like living in the basement. Oh, creepy. It's beautiful though. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's it.
Cheers. Cheers. Have fun. Cheers to Maryland. We hope we see you there. All, All right. right. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.